Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, let's focus on ER model solved problem number one. Let's see the problem now. The question is, in the context of owner and weak entity sets in the ER, the entity relationship data model, which one of the following statements is true? This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2024. Let's see the options now. The options are, option A, the weak entity set must have total participation in the identifying relationship. Option B, the owner entity set must have total participation in the identifying relationship. Option C, both weak and owner entity sets must have total participation in the identifying relationship. And option D, neither weak entity set nor owner entity set must have total participation in the identifying relationship. I request you to pause this video for a while and analyze all the options provided. I hope you are done. In order to identify the right answer, I am going to just show you an example scenario here. Let's have this scenario where we have an entity set employee. We also have an entity set dependent. This employee entity set has ID number which is a primary key attribute, employee name and salary. Coming to the dependent entity set, we have dependent name, age and gender. Now, what kind of relationship this employee and dependent possess? It is the policy relationship. When you observe this, we can easily understand that this is a strong entity set and this is a weak entity set. Why? Because the strong entity set will always have a primary key attribute. Whereas a weak entity set will not have a primary key attribute and this weak entity set will be dependent on another entity set. I hope the things are clear to you. This strong entity set employee do have a primary key attribute which is ID here. Whereas the weak entity set which is dependent does not have a primary key attribute. So this dependent entity set must be truly relying on or depending on the other entity set which is the strong entity set. When it comes to participation, we have already discussed about two types of participation constraints in ER model. They are the total participation and partial participation. Now let's ponder three important points that are always going to be helpful. Point number one, in weak entity set, it must have a total participation in a relationship. What do we mean by this? This weak entity set must have total participation in a relationship. This is point number one. In this example, which is a weak entity set? Dependent. Let's assume employee number one has two dependents and employee number two has three dependents. Now, if you observe, the two dependents who are dependent on employee number one will be obviously mapping to employee number one or dependent on employee number one. Similarly, the three employees who are dependent on employee number two is actually dependent on employee number two. I mean to say, Whatever values we have in the dependent entity sets, all these values must be participating totally in employee entity set. We are policy relationship. In other words, whatever we have here, the dependent, whatever the weak entity set, this must have total participation in a relationship. So in this relationship with employee, dependent must have a total participation. It is obvious. And coming to strong entity set, which is this. This employee may have partial or total participation in a relationship. It means this employee entity set may have total participation or partial participation with this entity set, which is the weak entity set. Let's say we cannot guarantee that every employee must have a dependent. In this case, this strong entity set employee I mean the strong entity set may have partial or total participation in a relationship. These two points, I mean point number one and point number two are very very important. And coming to point number three, this is scenario based. In this scenario, we can see that the mapping cardinality is one to many. Let's say employee number one has two dependents, employee number two has three dependents, employee number three has no dependent. In this case, one employee may have multiple dependents. So this is one to many. 
and that is why the mapping cardinality for this scenario is one to many. Anyway, this point number three is not going to contribute to solve this problem. However, it is essential to understand this. So with this important points, weak entity must have total participation in a relationship. Strong entity may have partial or total participation in a relationship. With this knowledge, let's step into the question and review the answers. Option A, the weak entity set must have total participation in the identifying relationship, which is definitely true. Coming to option B, the owner entity set. You may be asking, what is this owner entity set? This is the strong entity set. Some conventions use strong entity set as owner entity set. Some conventions use strong entity set and owner entity set as parent entity set as well. In our example, the weak entity set dependent is depending on the parent entity set or the owner entity set which is the employee. And that is why this employee entity set is referred as the owner entity set. So remember, the weak entity which is depending on the other entity, that entity is referred as the owner entity or the parent entity set. So here, we will assume this as the strong entity set. Option B, the owner entity set, meaning the strong entity set, must have total participation in the identifying relationship. This is incorrect. The reason is, the owner or the strong entity set may or may not have total participation. I mean, it may have partial participation, it may have total participation. There is no necessity that this owner entity set must have total participation as per the important points we have seen earlier. Coming to option C, both weak and owner entity sets must have total participation in a relationship, which is certainly incorrect because weak entity set must have total participation but not owner entity set, which may have or may not have. Coming to option D, neither weak entity set nor owner entity set must have total participation. This is also incorrect because as per the points that we have discussed, weak entity set must have total participation and owner entity set or strong entity set may have total or partial. So the right answer for this question is option A. The weak entity set must have total participation in the identifying relationship. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.